Everybody, welcome to a special Thursday happy hour here at JustRipIt.com. Hope everybody had a Merry Christmas, a great Christmas Eve, and it's Happy Boxing Day. So we had a couple of boxing packs here for our friends. We would have them, but they're very rare, very few. There's one cent penny packs and there's one card. There's nothing you can do about it. That's how it basically works from there. Ronnie Jones, a woo to you, my friend. Hope you had a great holiday. Glad to get everybody back, let everybody fill up the room. We have a Thursday night happy hour again. I'm gonna be going over a couple of our packs, a couple of our equity packs, and we'll take it from there. Uh, so let's get right into it. Uh, we have a, tonight's giveaway is spend $75 and our very popular, backed by popular demand, spend $75 and get an entry in to win a 2013 Sports King Series F box limit three entries per person and again thank you everybody for joining us on this busy day holiday week day after christmas i am the box breaking wax tearing cello ripping pack fresh card bullying pack manian devil here to try to educate entertain and pull a card of a lifetime a childhood memory a pack that brings back a memory or just something that can maybe put a little extra money in your pocket or enhance your raw or graded set as we do sell cards in graded, unsearched, and sealed packs like this beautiful 61 Fleer. And we also sell equity shares and like this beautiful, possible, life-changing Jim Brown pack, 1958. We sell equity in there. We open up the cards. We get them graded. They go to auction and we divvy up the dough. Our last 58 equity pack with United and Brown, everybody got PayPal. Some of the checks are still getting, you know, it was right during the holidays, but they're getting there. I think only one check uh, went out a little bit late. So you get your money in there, feel free to roll it back in. And it's also, this is a taxable event, like I mentioned, but don't listen to me because I failed accounting, but listen to your accountant. This could be a taxable event and you basically uh, we'll provide documentation because you are making an investment in this pack and it's hopefully yielding good or bad or neutral results. So that's how it works there. Shane Reynolds, Merry Christmas and a woo to you, my friend. John St. Martin, hey, a coach, woo to you. Your son's box is in the mail and coming. John Chirisky, woo to you here as well. Again, $75, get an entry to win a 2013 Sports King Series F box. Three entries per person, so 75 gets you one, 150 gets you two, two and a quarter gets you three. If only one person buys, we'll still randomize that one person, but it, he'll win it. So that's how it is. That's how we roll here. Okay, a couple of new things we put up. I'm going to go over those quickly right now. We put up a rip random, two rip randoms. Our first is a charity rip random. The first charity rip random is... For charity, 
A portion of the net proceeds goes to Independence for Veterans, putting veterans first at independenceforveterans.org. That is their website, and that's where they're located. A portion of those net proceeds will go to them to, get, to help facilitate clothing, uh, necessities, anything they need. And I'm looking at the charity pack. We have to put in there Independence for Veterans. That's what's missing also. Uh, what we do and what they're about. So we just put this listing up about an hour before show. It's there now. Uh, so we'll put we'll, we'll finish it up, but it's still it's live. There's seven possible randomization items to win, and it's 145 per spot. So you can pick whichever one you want. If you finish in seventh, you get this Harley Davidson 10 premium collector cards. Now I start at the bottom, and it gets a little better and a lot better as I go higher. If you finish in sixth in the randomization, a 1979 Coca-Cola Saint three-card cello pack. What's so special about this? Archie Manning could be in here. He's worth a thousand dollars in a ten. Three cards. You already see the first, Larry Hardy. Two more in there, so that's not a bad sixth spot there to shoot for. In fifth place, you will get a 1989-90 Opeachy Hockey Wax Pack. Nine and a half gem mint, beautiful pack there if you finish number five. If you finish in fourth place, you will get a 1982 Fleer Baseball Cello Pack, mint nine, with Tom Seaver on top and two logo stickers. That's the four spot. So you can see it's getting better and better as we move along. Finish number three, you get this beautiful cello. It's a 12 card cello with Cliff Branch on the back. And Dan Marino on the front, you get all 12 cards, and that's not a bad guy to get right there. And that's not a bad receiver to get in Cliff Branch as well. That's spot three. Spot two, you get the whole, this is not graded, that's why it's in our charity, Rip Random, a beautiful mini 1975 mini card that could have Nolan Ryan worth 25000 Brett Yount, Joe Morgan right down the line. It's right here. You get all 10 cards and the wrapper, but not the gum because we throw that dismember it and if you win first flies not too bad this is an ungraded charitable johnny bench 1978 cello pack all 21 cards right there are yours with the great hall of famer johnny the bench on top that's our charitable rip random again portion of these net proceeds check what you can could be tax deductible on your end and we will randomize this when all seven spots sell out and Luck of the draw, luck of the draw, they're all there. And that is our charitable rip random. Our other rip random that I will go over, same thing, $135 per spot, only 10 items available, 10. Same thing, I'll go down the line. If you finish 10th, a 1990 NBA Fleer basketball pack. If you finish 9th, you will get this beautiful Jacksonville Jaguar PSA 9 cheerleader tops chrome in the 9 spot, which was a nice little thing to add. Not too many cheerleader cards out there. Nice item to add to your collection or for a giveaway if you know somebody. In the 8th spot, you get an SGC 4.5 Barry Bonds, 1973 in action with the Giants. That's in the 8th spot. The 7th spot, you get a chance to pull a Jordan or David Robinson. NBA Hoops basketball card uh, pack. You get all 15 cards, I believe, are in there. Six spot, you get an 89 Fleer basketball wax pack, which contain a Michael Jordan card or sticker. Worth some money there. If you finish in fifth place, it's getting better. 88 Fleer baseball cello pack with Wade Boggs on top. Nine and a half. A lot of error cards in here and a lot of stuff as well in the fifth spot. In the fourth spot, if you land, if you finish fourth, you get not one wrestling pack, the whole rack. One big rack pack, Captain Lou sticker, a Hogan and action card, Moondog spot. We'll show the back more stickers and some other beautiful cards there as well. Giants in action, which is Andre. Over he goes. You get all in fifth, fourth place, 26 cards, three stickers. A Hogan could be worth up to $300 in a 10. And we're starting to see some other cards, whether it's due to the popularity of the show or due to the popularity of these wrestlers getting older, you know, when they kick the can, 
their car prices tend to really go up a little bit in value. That's how they work. That's in our fourth position. If you finish in third, you get this beautiful 2019 Albert Pujols Pool Joel's rip card. We'll rip it for you. It's numbered the 75, card number 27 to 75. And in this, when we rip it for you, could be a regular mini autograph card, an exclusive mini parallel, a wood parallel, mini metal parallel, or a one-of-a-kind sketch card. And you get the card and the insert in the back in third place. Second place, a beautiful 1981 Topps cello pack that could contain Joe Montana. You get all 27 chances to get Joe Montana, who just sold, we had 8,000 plus, $9,200 in a PSA 10 four days ago. So it's been trending around seven, now it's eight, now it's up to nine. Hopefully Joe Montana's in there. He got 27 chances. And first prize will be, it's a beauty, 78 top space ball rack pack certified and sealed by the BBCE the baseball card exchange yes that is Brooks Robinson on top beautiful we'll show the back because it's more of a teaser I believe got Lou Brock on the back I gotta check it's hard to see through all of this yes it's Lou Brock card number can't see the number number one that's the number one Lou Brock card right there in this rack pack. We're not randomizing it. If you win the rip random and you finish first, you get the whole rack. 39 cards amongst Brooks Robinson and Lou Brock, Eddie Murray, Molitor, Ryan, right down the road. They're all there waiting. There it is. So that's three, two, one, ten chances there. When they sell out, we'll randomize them and rip. Some people like to take down the whole rip random just to increase their odds, because every pack or card is a great item to have. Plus, the higher the food chain, you go up as well. Okay, again, $75, get an entry to win the 2013 Sportskin Series F-Box, limit three entries per person. We have not uh, had any bad luck with these boxes, but they're there, raring to go. That's our rip randoms. Uh, gonna go over a couple of equity packs. Don't forget, these sell out during the show, most likely the next show. We like to anticipate sending out emails and getting everybody ready. Christopher Wood, a woo to you, my friend. Matt Engel, a woo to you as well on this post-holiday show. I know a lot of people are still traveling. A lot of people are at the malls returning all the junk they got. So you should have got them a gift card to just rip it. That, that's where it's at right there. This 1958 beauty... Only five shares left at 197.50. Five shares left with Jack McLaren on top and a beautiful Ollie Matson on the back as well. It is very clean. That is the browning of the cellophane there. David St. Pierre, woo to you, my friend. What do we do to win? In order to win this box, make any purchase. It's on the screen, 75 or more, and you get an entry to win the box. If you're the only purchase, you win it. You can get up to three entries per $75. And if we hit over 10, most likely we'll add a second prize to it. And that's just at my discretion, depending on the length of the show and what we do. So again, five shares left in this Jim Brown rookie card could be worth 400,000. He could be nestled in there amongst those other 10 cards. And if he's not in there, we got Bart Starr at a 10 worth 22,000. Johnny Unitas worth 17. And virtually every nine and ten, not only tens, nines or tens are worth some good money in this 58. I think this will be the next one to go. It's a little slow with the holidays, so it, it's getting there uh, little by little. That's how it works. Elsewhere in the football world, because we're getting close to bowl season and everything else down the road, we have this beautiful 1969. This is a first series wax pack with... Uh, there's a, a, a mini card album and I tw and twelve. This is right there. Twelve picture cards available on this beautiful wax pack. There are twenty. Uh, only fourteen shares left. It's one hundred and forty-five dollars. We're looking for Gail Sayers in the ten, worth twenty thousand dollars. Larry Zonka worth fifteen thousand dollars. 
or Joe Namath worth 15000 And there's a slew, not Seattle slew the racehorse, a slew of other guys that could be in this first series, like Johnny Unitas or Brian Piccolo, 7000 and a 10. And then we got the following worth 2000 or more in a 10. Ray Nitschke, yeah, old Ray Nitschke, Roman Gabriel, Leroy Kelly, Merlin Olsen, uh, Steve DeLong, Dick Anderson, Dave Wilcox, all 2000 or more. And tens of Lance Allworth, Nate Ramsey, Ron Mix, guys, probably not your ordinary household names, worth a thousand or more. Twenty Hall of Famers in this first series, and also we will also send in to get graded the mini card album. Uh, it was a four-in-one sticker where kids used to moisten them and put them in their uh, album. Sixty-six of these available, and there's some doozies in there as well. The first series only has 132 cards. We have 12 shots at all those Hall of Famers. And the four-in-one stickers, uh, anything with Sayers or Piccolo in there, or Sayers one sold but for $1,500. And one with Brian Piccolo, Chris Hamburger, Howley and Barnes sold for fourteen. dollars All the pricing from vintage card prices is on there. And like I said, 12 cards, 132 in the first series. You do the math, not that bad. And like I said, only 14 shares available there. Jay Pomerantz. A woo to you and a woo to Andy Watstein. If that's your friend, you are wooing in as well. Our last equity pack, we got four, got a beautiful gallery up there. Four, eight, 12, 14 equity packs up there. This is one is $135 per share. It's a 71 wax pack. It's a first and second series. This is an unknown series, but in here, only 11 shares left. Only 11 out of 20, I want to make sure I reiterate that, out of 20, is possibly, you see him on TV, he gained a little weight, he's losing his hair, the immaculate reception, Terry Bradshaw, right there, 24,000 in a 10. And Mean Joe Green, 14,000 in a 10. Gene Prescott, woo to you, Ubering on Hilton Head Island and watching, that's worth, that's worth another woo to you, my friend. Welcome, everybody, welcome. I know it's a rough week. I'm still recovering from eating so many cannolis and cheesecake yesterday. They actually rolled me into the studio. I, I got it. I need to do a little bit of ripping here to burn off some calories. Uh, outside of Mean Joe Green, Johnny Unitas. He's in every football pack up until like mid 70s, basically. But he's 9,000 in a 10 as well. Uh, a great situ uh, situation there. Gail Sayers, Joe Namath, Merlin Olson, Dick Buckus, Mercury Morris, OJ Simpson. Five to ten thousand in a ten. It's a great pack. There are eight cards in a pack, plus a game card, plus a poster. It's really a nice pack. Only eleven left. It's one of our lower ones. Take a look at it. We love discussing our equity packs. They're very cool things. Uh, boy, we just listed this last week. And the best part about the equity packs is they they stay up there a long time. Some are twenty shares. Some are 25 some are 40 this is one of our 40 share equity packs very rare psa graded six which is high why is it high the pack is 59 years old very hard to find a pack period and when you get something in around a five six seven range that's cool you're not going to find a 10 it does not even exist it doesn't exist the wax over 50 year period is going to deteriorate regardless so it's not like a baseball card this is wax this is actual wax this is a 61 Fleer, 40 shares, our highest equity pack up there, $285 a share, gets you a 2.5% interest in this beautiful, again, high-ranked PSA 6. And there's only 66 cards in the set, 44 players. Where are the other 22? They repeat some of the 44, they give them inaction. But a Will Chamberlain and a 10. I estimate about $125,000 in a 10. And if we don't get him, we got Oscar Robertson, $75,000. Elgin Baylor, $75,000. Jerry West, $75,000. Oh, we pull the Will Chamberlain, doesn't come back a 10, comes back a nine, $38,000. And even an eight's worth more. I did all the research, all the pricing. The in-action cards are also worth a lot of money as well. These cards... What's great, there's six cards in here. 
and that's what I've seen, heard, and been told. Six cards, and there's only 44 players with the 22 in action for a total of 66. So we got six of the 66. 20 Hall of Famers are in here. 19 of the 44 players are rookies because they didn't really make too much to go on there. So th that's the situation with the 61 Fleer. Take a look at it. I won't waste any more time. There it is. We also have a 61 Fleer football. That's in our randomized section. We're looking for Dandy Don Merritt. Looking to pull a 10 there. And my last equity pack I'm going to go over is... I think this is one of my favorites, and I'm going to go over it quick and simple, and it's just a math problem. This is a 73 Topps Baseball Cello second series. Who's in the second series, according to GAI? Nolan Ryan, $16,000. Yastrzemski and Munson, four to $8,000. What's so great about this pack is 16 Hall of Famers in the second series. How many cards in the second series? 131. 131 cards. We have... 27 cards in here that we're going to grade every one. So 27 out of the 131, which gives us great odds to pull Ryan, Yaz, Munson, Killebrew, Morgan, Goose Gossage, who got into the Hall of Fame later, Reggie Jackson, Catfish Hunter, Bob Gibson, Garvey Palmer, Fisk, Robinson, Jenkins. I tell you, do the math. 27 cards, 131 in the set. <sighs> I have a feeling you know what I mean for that one but that's it very nice oh the big update yeah we have to go over the big update uh, anyone that sells out a pack during this happy hour we will give you an extra thousand points we have a couple of packs that are right near the edge of the of the line that's where they are uh, the big update and everyone's going to want to hold on to their hats for this. 19, the hats. When I talk sometimes, the hat will mysteriously blow off my head because of this breaking news. We sell individual cards in a 1993 SP baseball pack, which of course is known as the Jeter pack, the Jeter box. A Jeter foil card is the number one card to get in there. We put up our equity box because the last Jeter sold for $78,000 in a 10. And like I said, when our packs and boxes and breaks stay up there over time, I'm not talking years, a couple of months, breaking news happens. We're in the middle of the news flow. We saw that Jeter went up to $138,000 in an auction two weeks ago. Immediately, we listed an equity box. An equity box is we sell a percentage of the whole box like a pack, but you have a piece of the whole box. So you get a percentage of the whole box. We get a Jeter in there, and if it's worth at the 10, even a 9, we're going to make a lot of money for our equity shareholders. Now, if that wasn't enough, we sold, we had 25 shares. It's down to 20, but this may make it even a little more enticing. Another one just sold about a week ago, and they posted it. Not 138, not 148, not 158. This is where the hat starts to elevate. $168,000. Literally, whoever bought the Jeter card last year for $78,000 could, could flip it now and double his money. If we pull a Jeter, and I was telling everybody it's worth a, a $70,000, $80,000, and we'll get, you get 2.5% if you have one share of that, or two shares, or 5%. Now, you're virtually getting not 2 and a half, you're getting 5% because the, the card that we're trying to fetch and get in the 10 has doubled. The nine should lift up as well. So will the eight and a half. SGC does offer nine and a half. They're all nestled in there. Uh, so we do sell packs, 12 cards in a pack. We sell each card for uh, 1950. So you have one chance to pull the whole Jeter for yourself. And now we have an equity box where you can have a piece of the whole box. Next, now because of this, we are working with Greg the Jellius. Your first rip. All right, Greg. Uh, Greg, Greg uh, Geo. It's not Greg. Geo. A woo to you, Geo, and welcome to JustRipIt.com. We're, we're looking for the good stuff, and we let you know what we're looking for. And if that Jeter foil card is in that equity box, we sound the horn. If in any of those packs, and we pulled two, three, three Jeter cards already, and we're still working hard to get 
uh, our fourth, and we will get one. We will get our fourth. But we also may start doing a box break with the Jeter. So we're going to give everybody three choices. A pack, individual card in a pack, a box where you can own the whole pack, 24 packs sell out. The whole 12 cards are yours. Usually one foil card per pack. Or our equity box, which is up there already. It's not chump change. I'm looking at it. December 8th, 168,000. I think it was an REA auction, Heritage before that. And the guy that paid 138 could have sold it a month later for 168. You make $30,000 doing zero. Mail the card to an auction, they mail you a check. The power of the cards go there from uh, as well. Okay. Our giveaways, is this for the night? Do we have anything? What do we have here? We're doing the pack bundle? Oh, okay. Oh, I got it up there already. Oh, the magic bundle. We have a pack bundle. I was going to go over it. Another live listing today. Subscribe. You guys that are new, sub Gino, Gio, subscribe to our newsletter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You too, Matt Kirby and Brock Kirby. A woo to the bolt of the Kirby. Twin Kirbys, a woo welcome to you guys. Any purchase, 75 or more, three spots, gets this box. One person buys it, we don't continue to the next show. We rip it open, because it's all about ripping. Okay, the 61 Fleer, it's a happy hour. I'm gonna go over that next show. So we got to go there. Go look at our website, it's beautiful. It's ready to rare and go. Right before showtime, we listed a pack bundle. I'll go over it, and it's going to be ripped right there. It's ready to go. It is a cello bundle. Cello, cello, cello. 1984 and 1981. Two, two packs. The best part about this pack bundle, and you're like, oh, why did it sell out? How did they not know about it? Because people that go to our site and subscribe to our YouTube channel and our, news, uh, and our newsletter, know right away. And also, when you do make a purchase, and anybody new out there, use the 10% off 500 points. Also, when you make a purchase, we have a 2% reward program. As Soon as you purchase, just like a credit card, you get reward points to just rip it. They get put into your account. So open up an account so we can put the points in there. You use those as checkout for future packs. Also, some packs at the end, we give out dividends. The bundles aren't dividends. I don't think the charity packs are dividends. We give out, we do other things, but we give dividends out at the end of each pack, and that's how it works. We have two left in a 93 Jeter. Somebody sells that out, we'll give a thousand points. We're still giving even after the holidays, and that's how it works. Okay, this bundle pack, I'll go over it. There's two packs. You get it's $29.50 per card. It's sold out immediately. Like I said, you got a man, a Hall of Famer, Dan Marino, behind that big football logo. He's there. There are 28 cards in this pack, and our second pack, it's almost like a double header, is a 1981 cello pack, which I discussed could be Joe Montana, which isn't worth seven or eight, just sold for over 9,000 now. There's 27 there, so it's 27 cards. There's an extra one there. We'll randomize it at the end to, to anybody that's in there. Has anything so not yet uh, david we have about a couple of packs with less three or less like a bunch of them and they all seem to go at the same time anything sells out tonight besides an equity pack we will open it's a happy hour we just had to do a couple of uh rips and, and discussions with everybody uh but we will go pro most likely live monday because again tuesday and wednesday it's the same new year's eve new year's day blah 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 so we may go live monday we'll see how tonight and over the weekend goes we'll let everybody know from there but anything that sells out tonight is opened and ready to go like this bundle pack and back to this let's just get ripping people are looking for rips and enough of me yapping the 93 jeter pack sold out very nice that'll be ripped open first one we'll open we'll save mr marino for we'll do the 81 first 81 first it's an 81 tops football joe montana we have eight thousand. just sold for nine we'll make that correction dan hampton worth nine hundred dollars and you got Peyton, all pro or super action, like this super action of Charlie Joyner, uh, Dwight Clark, Freddie Cook, worth over 500 plus, and a bunch of other great players in here that will be done. I believe this was swept, so that eliminates any randomization. There is no randomization. If you sweep a pack, we bring out the broom, 
And this was a good deal because you're getting virtually 50. Now the sweeper's getting 20, 55 cards. 55. 55. Oh, you want to do the nine? Okay, maybe we'll do the Jeter pack first. Okay. Fair enough. We'll put these on a slide. I need, I need the Jeter pack. I need cards. All right. We can't, Harry. We got to uh, number the cards and get the pack ready. So we'll just go right to the 81 football cello and then we'll do the jeter right after this again happy hour our last happy hour went three hours and 20 minutes i i, I can't control it when i got when the when the i got the fever and the only prescriptions ripping and that's what we do that's what we do all right let's get ready to rip both of these packs i cannot wait cannot wait And there we have it. Rip Randoms are up there. Check those out. They're new. And a, a bunch of other packs. A, a tremendous amount of other packs that are up there. We're going to do the 81 first. We're looking for Joe Montana. So the 81 bundle. Don't forget, we're not randomizing. This was swept, so it's all personal pack at this point. 81 tops football solo pack. PSA 7. That's Charlie Joner with a Raider covering him. And let's get this ripped. And ready to go. Two rip randoms. One is a charity rip random. Great, great content there as well. The more slots you buy, the more chances you have to win those top prizes, which are some doozies up there. Doozies. Can you imagine the Manning, Archie Manning Coca Cola card from 1979? Over a thousand in a 10. That's a great opportunity. The Mannings, they're like royalty. Royalty. Everyone, John, had a great Christmas. We, of course, all our gifts were packs. We just sat under the tree. The team members were over, and we opened the packs. How? What a great Christmas. Stocking stuffers? Packs. 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 We should have probably took pictures and shared them with everybody. Okay. Here it is. 81 Tops Football. Looking for Joe Montana. We pulled an Elway last week. We're getting the Marino out in that 84. We pulled a Peyton. Freddie Cook's in here as well. Art Monk, Charles White. Here we go. 27 pitcher cards for 49 cents. What a deal. What a deal. Here we are. A lot of ESPN coverage. They're going over the top players of the decade of the century. It's just so you get to see all your cardboard treasure live. And in the act, in, in action, actually when they actually played, there it is. Top card, as promised, Charlie Joyner of the Chargers, part of that Air Coriel team. A super action card, three twelve, with Charlie Joyner. Usually every Charlie that gets ripped gets a horn. Charlie, the horn, Charlie. Simple enough. Number two, Jet Team Leader. Jet Team Leader Bruce Harper, Mark Gastineau. Ken Shroy and Scott Durking, a Jet Team Leader card. Again, these are graded, unsearched, and sealed. I always say it. Pack fresh, touched for the very first time. That's card number 132. Beautiful cards. And what we look for is Hall of Famers and great centering. And that's where we tried to perform here. Card number three, Raymond Chester, the Raider. Great Raider tight end, Raymond Chester. Tops, card number 65, tight end for the Raiders. It's funny, Tops couldn't put the logos on the helmets back then. They didn't have the, the license. So whenever a Brown quarterback came up, like Brian Sight, there was no logo. So they got it over on him. There's Brian Sight. It looks like a dolphin. I'll guess a dolphin, but I can't see the logo. It's a Brian Sight, another super action card. We're looking for Walter Payton and super action. Last sold for over $700. But this is a nice set, uh, I think 590, 535 cards. It's a great set to put together, this 81 class. Card number five, Derek Gaffney. Jets. A couple guys in the background there. Derek Gaffney. 
looking for Joe Montana. Number six, they're going to do the top 100 quarter, top 50 quarterbacks. Card number six, record breaker, Bill Thompson, Bronco. Most touchdowns and fumble recoveries lifetime. Curtis Dickey's in here. Kellen Winslow, too. They showed Kellen Winslow that scene where he gets carried off the field. That overtime game. Card number seven. Oiler, Robert Brazil. Robert Brazil, all pro linebacker for the Oilers. Mr. Brazil. Touch for the very first time. You know, I was thinking about it. Trying to think about maybe uh, having that as a little uh, jingle on the show. But yes, <laughs> yes, John. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Number eight, Coy Bacon, Lamar Parrish, Wilbur Jackson, and Art Monk, Redskin team leaders in receiving, rushing, defense, and quarterback sacks. Art Monk, his base card is about $300 and a 10. That's the all pro. I think they were about the hogs. Yeah, they were getting to be the hogs at that point. Card number nine, another all pro, Bill Berge. Eye black dripping. Bill Berge, card 250. Card number 10, Jeff Nixon. Beautiful corners on these cards. Like I said, pack fresh. And yes, John, touched for the very first time by me for about eight seconds. Carefully put into a card saver. And then we check it from there. Card number 11, and great red skin running back there, Joe Washington. Looks like he's looking down. Next coming up, a Packer team leader card. Card number 12 is Eddie Lee Ivory, James Lofton, Mike Butler, and Johnny Gray. Centering's getting a little bit better on these, a little bit better. To enhance your perfect raw or graded set, we offer grading services if anyone desires if we do not grade the card on the house. Gordon Jones, card number 13, Bucks. Sharp, crisp cards. I'm going to say it over and over again. Once they're thrown in someone's drawer or shoe box and they get moved around out of the pack, they get kind of damaged. Card number 14, Charger team leader, Chuck Muncie, John Jefferson, Glenn Edwards, and Gary Johnson. Boy, Chuck Muncie. We play for the Saints, too. Oh, we got a Hall of Famer coming up here. Not his rookie year. He's in our 60-71 you want this guy in 1971. This gum, outside of that mold right there, there's some mold there. But outside of that, this is an SGC 8 for the gum. 8. We got some mold. Gum gets thrown out to prevent any type of resealing. Oh boy, we need him in our 71 pack. 25,000. But that's a nice card right there. A Hall of Famer. Terry Bradshaw, very nicely centered. And looking at it, the gum did not really even harm the card at all. It's card number 375 for Terry Bradshaw, Hall of Famer. This is 81. We need him 10 years earlier in 71. Check out our 71 equity pack. A lot of money for Mr. Terry Bradshaw. And even 72, 73, and 74 as well. But a great card. Great stealer there. Number 16, Jim Jodat. Who dat? Joe dat. Jim Joe dat. Ricky Running Waters. <laughs> Go Steelers. I got a Steelers fan in the house. Number 17, a guy that Joe Montana threw to. It's not Joe Montana. It's number 88, Freddie Solomon of the Niners. We're looking for Dwight Clark as well. How great would it be to pull a Montana and a Clark in the same pack? Both in tens, $10,000 total. Art Monk. Great receiver for that Redskin team. Number 18, Roynell Young. Profile look, cornerback, Eagle. Number 19, cornerback for the Lions. Can't say he's a household name. Jeff Comlo. Comlo.
Number 20, defensive tackle for the Bills. That's a nicely centered card. Defensive tackle, Fred Smurless. Card 201. Put away a five row with some of these cards in there. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Number 21, Dave Brown. Dave Brown, Seahawk cornerback. How about Beast Mode back with the Seahawks? This is so great. 2006, him and Frank Gore, his, uh, his cards are worth some money. Number 22, Bill Lanakis. Again, top, bottom, corners, beautiful. Colors, beautiful. Still looking for a Montana. We'll take a Peyton. We'll take Clark Cook. Number 23, Rick Danmeyer, kicker. We've got to throw a kicker in there once in a while. Only kicker that really is worth some money is this Ray Guy. Ray Guy in that 74 pack is worth about five, 6000 out of 10. Number 24, Vernon Perry, Houston Oiler. They showed some Earl Campbell footage I was watching. I was watching a lot of football highlights over the weekend. Earl Campbell was an animal. Raider center, the Raiders. Dave Dalby, center. Jim Otto replacement, which was double zero. Number 26, uh, one of my favorites, Lyle Alzado. I got to give him a horn. Rest, rest in peace. Lyle Alzado, defensive end there for the Browns. Left us too early. Concussions, whatnot. Uh, great player. Great Lyle Alzado. Browns, Buck, uh, Broncos, Raiders, all over the place. And last card, all pro Patriot. Mike Haynes, All-Pro Patriot. A couple of good players, a couple of Hall of Famers. A Terry Bradshaw, I think, was the highlight there. And that closes out our first bundle of our 1981 and our quest for Montana. It's all about Joe. Say it ain't so, Joe. That's who we are looking for there. Okay. Part two of the bundle is we go... We would normally re-randomize. This is all one person. This is in 1984. We go right to it. Harry swept the pack. Dan Marino is on top. We see his name. We see a shadowing of the card. He is there. Uh, Kurt Warner and Walter Payton are worth 2,000 in the 10, besides Dan Marino. And Elway, and then, of course, Marino and Chris Hinton worth over 1,500. And Ken Anderson, Wilbert Montgomery, Eric Dickerson. Jim Plunkett, Dwight Stevenson, Drew Pearson, all worth 500 plus in a 10. Uh, only 396 cards, and we're going after 28 of them. And we got Dan Marino out of the way already, which is fantastic. So let's get this rolling. There are 28 cards. Usually it was 27 cards in the, in the bundle. So the 28th would normally have been randomized. In this case, it's not. A good sweeperoo there at that all 28 go, and a guaranteed Marino. It was a Super Bowl away from me saying this card was not worth 1500 But every Super Bowl tends to add 2000 to the card. You can look at Montana. So if Marino is worth 1500 and a 10, if he won three Super Bowls, you'd probably be looking about five, 5000 or so. Well, Elway actually won a couple. Poor Dan, Dan Marino, just the, quick, the quickest release around. Again, here we are. Knock on the plastic. If you're with me, 84 Tops Football Cello Pack, PSA 7, graded, unsearched, and sealed with a Dan Marino on top. Let's get it ripping. Let's get it ripping. Hope everybody had a great holiday. It is Boxing Day today in Canada. So some of our Canadians are taking a nice rest of the day. It's Kwanzaa Day. For those of you who celebrate, the rest of us who celebrate Festivus, if you watch George Costanza and family, wish everybody a happy Festivus. Maybe some people actually. Oh, that went off the goggles. That's a first. Wow. Dan Marino looks a little agitated. It's like saying, probably saying over and over, if I won one Super Bowl and they got an MVP, I wouldn't be sponsoring Ice Eternal Gloves. He, does, he lives down here. He lives in Wellington. I think he lives in Wellington. He's got a lot of kids. Great guy. You'll see him out at a restaurant once in a while. Just a great, great guy. Pit, Bert, Pit Panther. Dolphins could probably use him now. The time the Dolphins get a good quarterback, they tend to trade him away. They're probably sick how great Tannehill's doing. 
They trade Ajay, they trade Parker, they, they, they trade Jar Jarvis Landis, keep getting good players and trade them. That's like trading Zonka and, and, and Greasy and Mercury Morris when they first got him. They didn't. Okay. Again, our, our $75 or more, get an entry to win a 2013 Series F box. We're opening this bundle. We have a Jeter pack. And if that's it, our happy hour will be filled. And we'll see everybody next week. So if you see something you like, you want it to be open, great. If you're watching the stream, wow, we got to get this Marino out of here. Burping a baby. So many cards, it's tough for it to come out. It's Patrick Lay. We stole him from the Dolphins. Yeah. Dolphins, everybody steals players. Oh, man. It's really snug in there, which is good. I'm grabbing them. I just want to pinch. Okay. I'll play a little hardball. Surgeon. Got it. I delivered the pack. Like delivering a baby. Gotta be very careful. Plenty of hot water. Okay. 28. Let's rip through it. Let's rip through it. Kurt Warner, 2200. Peyton, 2000. Elway, 1800. We pulled last week. It's off to the grading company. Chris Hinton, 1800. Marino, Kemp, Wilbert Montgomery, Dickerson, all 500 plus. Van McElroy, Darren Nelson, Dwight Stevenson, Drew Pearson, Brad Van Pelt. Nice class to say before. Very nice classic. QBs. Nice and gentle. Danny Boy. Oh, that's a nice Danny Marino. That is a nice one. He know he gets the horn. Dan Marino, quarterback for the Dolphins. AFC Pro Bowl. Great shot of Dan there. Quickest release in the game. Duper, the Marks brothers. Mark Clayton and Mark Duper. Beautiful card. Beautiful, beautiful. Maybe a little, maybe a tad left to right. Maybe, but we'll probably get it graded. Good card there. Dan Marino, cats out of the bag. Very nice. Let's keep going now. We got some other Hall of Famers hopefully in here. We got Billy Jackson, Chiefs. Billy Jackson, Chiefs. It's awesome, it is. Dan Marino, Elway last week, Marino this week. Phenomenal. I mean, on our rip random, we have another Dan Marino in another solo pack. Oh, I thought it was oh, I thought it was Kurt Warner. Kenny Easley, Seahawk. Ken Easley, safety. Ooh. Harry. You Second best card in the set, Chris Hinton. Card number 15, $1,800. Hold on to the hat again, because it's going to come off. $1,800, four and a half, four or five years ago. Why? I don't know. Third base, it's Chris Hinton. Maybe it's because the other guy in the back, let's take a look at the back. Oh, that's looking good. Wow. Wow, let's get it into the saber. Card number four. If Dan Marino wasn't enough as a... Chris Hinton. Wow. That is sharp looking there. Uh, there must be some... $1,799.99, May 25th, 2015. Wow. Chris Hinton. Community, take a look at it. That is going to be a rip clip. Four cards, Marino and Hinton already. And if I didn't say Hinton was worth eighteen hundred, somebody just went whoosh, blew right through. And next, that all about those Chris Hinton. Yeah, fifteen hundred plus. I got it. Eighteen hundred last sale. Let's keep it going. Tim Smith, Oiler. Boy, you go from Hinton to Chris Tim Smith, but. He's a little big difference there. There's the OC left to right where Hinton looks a lot better. See the difference? There we are. That's what we like. Good players, well centered. 
Card number six, James Owens. James Owens. Card number seven, Dennis Har Harrison Eagle. Eagle. We're opening up a 1984 cello. Marino and Hinton already in. Card number eight, Patrick Mahomes. Just kidding. I don't think he was even born yet. That is Bill Kenny. Chiefs. Tricked everybody. Got to keep everybody on their toes. Wouldn't be Mahomes in 84. No, no. On the cover of PSA Magazine, Patrick Mahomes. Number nine, William Andrews. Great running back for the Falcons. All pro, pro bowl card. 84, so it's bringing back some memories. My dementia and Alzheimer's goes away. I start remembering these guys now. Doug English, card number 10. I don't speak it to English. Left to right, little off center. Well, we got Marino and Hinton. Give us Peyton Warner. Or we'll take another Elway. Why not? Why not? Bob Brewing. Cowboys. They didn't, Tops back then didn't have the algorithmic, artificial, intelligent card sorting purpose. They just put them in the packs. I don't know. They don't know who's going to be in the hall and what's going to happen. Card number 12, Charger leader, Chuck Muncie, Danny Waters with the receptions, Lyndon King, quarterback sacks, Mike Green, and there's Kellen Winslow. Kellen Winslow, great player there. Great, great player, Charger team leader. I think the 78 pack has Ozzie. I'm looking at the Browns. Ozzie Newsom's worth some money in the 78 pack. Card number 13 is Chip Banks. Pro Bowl card of the Browns. Card number 14 is the gum card, which is, they were smart to put the gum on some type of giveaway. Little logo there. I guess the logos were okay. That's Nick Lowry. That weird, they don't even wear that thing. They're, the kickers today wear like the, the, the cage. They don't wear that little one thing anymore. They want to go out and hurt somebody. This gum will get a PSA 5. Not for nothing, 84. There's some loud spots on there that I don't know what are. This is a game card. Win a trip, win, 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 win a Super Bowl ticket. There you go. This card, a very rare little damage there. There's nothing I can do about that. It's a Tim Lewis off-centered, but a little chip there. But it looks like one out of 27 cards. Only one. Very rarely our cards get damaged, degraded, unsearched, and encapsulated. Number 16, great brown running back, Mike Pruitt. Definition of off-center there. Shows you how good Hinton and Mar uh, Marino were. Coming up, number 17, the Bears. Not Peyton. We needed Walter. That is Leslie Frazier, who played cornerback for the Bears. Spend $75 or more, get an entry to win this beautiful Sport Kings box. Whether it's one, if it gets over 10, we add to it. If not, we like to give it away. Our thanks for watching us on the day after Christmas. Mark Mosley, card number 18. Mark Mosley, kicker. Wow. Mark Mosley, I remember him. Number 19. One of the 30 Jet quarterbacks since name is up, Pat Ryan. That's nicely centered. Not that bad. Pat Ryan, another Jet bust. So many quarterbacks. That's why these teams struggle. You need one good quarterback, 10 years, and you're in the book, and you're in there. Number 20, Dwayne Board, Niner. Yeah, it looks like in 84, they got the licensing issue straight away. We're getting the little logos on the helmet. Kevin House. Buccaneers, horrible uniforms. Thank God they changed them. 22, Lion team leader, Billy Sims running back. Plus William Gay, Bruce Norton, and Leonard Thompson. Billy Sims, Heisman Trophy winner. It's a nice card right there, centering-wise as well. Billy Sims, wow. And in the back, they show you most of all, uh, all the stats for the Lions that year. Twenty-three, Leonard Thompson, Lion wide receiver. It's like a linebacker. Oh wait, is this? Yeah. Card number twenty-four is a Bronco. It is not Elway. That would have been 
history in the making. It's Luke Prestridge, punter for the Broncos. Looks like he's in a daze. Oh, nice card coming up here. Just It's not only a nice card, it's just a great player, and it's a great shot. Wow. Card 167. Jack Lambert. I mean, that that guy was ever coming at you, all hell would break loose. I, I just got to check what a 10 is. I don't think it wasn't in my top 20. Let me just check. Yeah, only $45 later in his year. But that's just a great card. Because look at that expression on his face. He's just looking like an animal. Jack Lambert. Watch some footage of him in. Rounding out the pack, card number 26. Redskin team leader, John Riggins. Nice shot of Riggo there. Nicely centered card as well. It's good to learn that some of these cards are centered nicely. Increases chances of 10s, especially with the Hall of Famers. Card number 27 is Zach Thomas, Bronco. And this was the 28th card, which would have been randomized, but it goes straight out to Andrea Franklin, straight out to Harry in the unrandomized section there. Okay. I'll take it any day of the week. Dan Marino and a beautiful Chris Hinton. Congratulations. That is our pack bundle. Before we had a chance even to talk about it, it was in the books and ready to go. Okay. Uh, there's no dividends on bundles, I believe. Nope, no bundles. We'll put up another one. Keep a lookout on our website. Bundles, I think, are a good deal. You get two breaks for the pack of one. Price of one. Two rips for the price of one. Not a bad deal at all. Okay. Happy hour's over in two minutes. Just enough time. We'll go a little over, but we're going to open up our 93 SP. Baseball pack. Again, a Derek Jeter. And if you just joined us now... His card when we first started was a, worth seventy-eight thousand. And we then saw an auction go up for a hundred and thirty-eight thousand. We then seen it jump to a hundred and sixty-eight thousand. One sixty-eight. Don't even hesitate to think that if you get an eight or nine, they'll creep up in value. A couple of our we're waiting for one grade to come back. Don't be. Don't even. You have an eight or a nine. Maybe it's worth holding on to because it's gonna just keep going. Especially when he gets into the Hall of Fame, then they all come out of the woodwork. We're ahead of the game here at JustRipIt.com. Okay. Harry, thank you for that bundle pack. You got some great pulls. New ones up there are Rip Random, and we'll look towards another bundle pack over the weekend. So, let's get down to our Jeter. As of right now, it's our last pack of the evening. Then we'll go to our giveaway. Got some first time uh, rippers joining us here. Very exciting. Okay. We will randomize this five times. Five times on the randu for these 12 people. Let's go five. One, two, three, four. Five. John St. Martin, the first card. Maddie Leonardo, the last card. We'll load up everybody into our customer list. And there we have it. Again, thank you, everybody, for coming out to this happy hour. We thought we'd just go live just to check in, say hello to everybody, give them some updates. This probably will, looks like, be our last pack of the evening. Let's hope we can pull a Jeter. If we can't get a Jeter, we're looking for Manny Ramirez, Chipper Jones, worth over 700 in the 10. Dimitri Young's 400, so is Damon. And a bunch of other guys around 200 over a year ago. So we're looking for some new 10s and maybe first-time 10s as well. But that is our Jeter pack. We have an equity box up there. We're considering doing a box break because 168,000 is not, not chump change. It really isn't. John St. Martin, you get the top card. We open it from the bottom. A lot of bowl games this week, a lot of action. Great week for everybody to relax and get caught up around the house. 93 foil pack. Here we go. John St. Martin, first card. 
you get, you gotta watch some of these stick together, Steve Finley, Astros. Card number two, which is Jeter's number, is Don Slot. Don Slot, Pirate. I check the backs because these do stick together. Number three, Darren Fletcher for John St. Martin. Number four, Matthew Leonardo. A woo to you, my friend. You get Marquise Grissom. Oh, Marquise Posen. It's a nice pose for Marquise. Card number five. Still waiting for foil. John Jaha. That's that guy having a picnic. Probably just got put on waivers or something. I don't know. John Jaha. Number five, David St. Pierre. Number six, Athis. Who to you, my friend? You get Bernie Williams. Yankee great center fielder. Bernie Williams, Yankee. He's now playing a lot of guitar. Number seven. Juan Guzman. Not of the Lakers. That's Guzman. Guzman. Okay, still looking for foil. Some packs have always usually have one foil. Some have two. Some have none. We've seen it all. And most cards, some packs, every other pack seems to have extra cards. Card number eight is Athis. That was last card of seven was John Guzman for Maddie. Card number eight is Athis. Jeff Russell. Pitcher. Card number nine. Ben McDonald. Had a farm. Bicep shot. I gotta relax. Card number 10, Dale Ross. Who to you? Edgar Martinez. Seattle. Only two left. Could this be a. Yeah, this could be foilless. That means another pack coming up. They have two. Chuck Knobloch. Card number 11. Some always. They, oh, I say 90% of the time, you get one foil. 5% zero. Other 5%, you get two. Card number, and 80% of the time you get extra cards. Card number 12, that was Shannon Mann before number 11. 12, Matty Leonardo, you get Tony Phillips. Shannon Mann, that was your card in the 11 spot. And no foil, so someone's going to have, we're going to get double up a foil one day. That could be exciting. We'll put up another one. And this is the bonus card, which is not a bad randu. If there's an extra card at justripit.com, we... We randomize the name, and if you finish first, you get the card. Sometimes it's Ken Griffey. It could be a Jeter foil. Anything goes. And if we're short a card, you get a refund, or we put you into the next pack. So let's randomize this list three times for this Ken Griffey extra take-home gift here. Three times on the Randu. First prize gets it. One, two, three. Matt Leonardo. You get the bonus Ken Griffey card. Congratulations. We'll keep it rolling with dividends. 100 points to first prize. We randomize this three times again, three. You finish first, you get 100 bonus points into your registered account to use next time. Let's go three. One, two, three. Maddie Leonardo, congratulations. You get 100 points into your account on justripit.com and there we have it oh 805 806 i know everybody's got some stuff to do some people have some leftovers to eat but we ain't done yet we promise this i don't care if we go on the air for five minutes we're giving something out at the end of the night 
And boy, we have a lucky winner. Let's put it up. Hang with us here five more minutes. Let's, we're going to randomize. Bedtime. Yeah, everybody's still, everybody's knocked out from the holidays. I don't blame you. We were like almost going to go live. Let's just go do an hour and say hello to everybody. Thanks everybody for that Jeter pack. I'm sorry there's no foil. We'll put another one up. There could be two in the next one. That's how it works. We can't control upper deck. Okay. Our live giveaway, 75 or more, three entries per person. If you did this, you're in. We're now going to randomize the people. And this is going to be funny. We're going to load it up into the randu. We were going to randomize it one time. One. Error. You know why? Because it was Harry. Harry Casa wins on the randu. He gets it. Thanks for the happy hour. Hang in there. If you got no people are jumping off. Harry Casa, you are the winner of the Sport King Series F. Let's rip it open. Everybody wants to go eat some extra ham. I got some extra stuffed shells that I want to eat. Harry Casa, this is our free giveaway. Hopefully there's some guys in here that you like. Some beautiful cards. Sports Kings. We love this set. Our 07, our seven spot sold out very quickly. Hopefully there's some players in here you like. Here we go. Card number one, Carl Lewis Mini. Olympian great. That's a great shot of Carl Lewis. Again, this was free. This is our giveaway for the night. Next up, we have a bowler. Not, uh, who is it? Earl, uh, uh, I forgot who that, who that bowler was. That's Walter Ray Williams Jr. Bowling. Yeah. Junior. A bowler. Wow. Oh, wow. This is, if you're a boxing, it's boxing day. Bert Sugar. Great, great writer and boxer with the cigar. Harry, you got a cigar chomping guy. You got in a derby. That could be me in 20 years. Look at that, huh? Bert Sugar. Just one of the most respected boxing writers of all time. This guy knew everything about boxing. That's me in 20 years. I'll take it. Bert Sugar. Here is your autograph. Larry Little. On card autograph of Larry Little anthology. A great picture. A great on card autograph. Let's put that right into a penny sleeve so we don't smear any of the autograph. Dolphin fans love this guy. Congratulations on the autograph of Larry Little. And this was a free giveaway. Free. And our last card, you got the mini and you got the big one of Carl Lewis as well. A great Olympian and it's the K of Sport Kings. But wow. Larry Little autograph. Again, free on our Sports Kings Series F. That concludes our happy tower. David, you said bedtime. I'm going to go watch a little pit Eastern Michigan. Get ready for some great, great, great college football bowl games this week. But that concludes our live broadcast. Hot one hour. We squeezed it in. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. We got, we'll put another bundle up there. We have a new charity random up there. Giveaways. Thank you, everybody, for helping us dig up the cardboard treasure on Boxing Day. Boxing Day. Burnt Sugar Boxing Day. We have a Happy New Year wheel going out. We're going to pre sell it. A Happy New Year wheel. Better than the Merry Wheel. Go research. If you haven't made a purchase yet, wait for the Happy New Year wheel to come up. If you're watching us live now, you'll secure spots. Our Merry Wheel sold out in lightning fast condition. But it'll work. Check it out. And I tell you, there's a pack fresh gym in 10 out there somewhere. I will help you find it. We'll see everybody. I think we're going live Monday. We'll let you know. If not, it'll be next Thursday. More happy hours. We'll get through the holidays. Get the in-laws. They're in the house. Get them out. Tell them you have to go back to work. Tell them to go hop on the next bus home. And we'll see everybody here next week. And one sip to go. Oh, boy. I don't know if I can do any more sips. Have a great weekend, everybody. Oh,